If I were to pretend that what happened to me during that embodied spiritual practice didn't happen, I would be engaging dirty pain. I would be pretending that everything is okay in spite of that experience I had, which tells me everything is not okay. My body was telling me something's not okay. That's what discomfort is about. It's a teacher. When we feel uncomfortable, our body is saying to us, something's not right here. Something is waiting to be liberated, to be saved. And that's what I want. <laughs> I want liberation. I want salvation from that experience. That's what I'm By the way, Patty's poem about the body practice has been reprinted in the worship guide this week. I encourage you to check it out. And I also encourage you to be in conversation with each other as you engage in these body practices. Talk to each other about it. This is communal work. It's not for an individual. We do this together. I want to encourage you, if you haven't already started your prayer beads, make a set of prayer beads. Put a large bead on to represent each anchor. And as I've already told you, my first anchor, my first bead was textured. It has a ridge down the back to remind me when life gets bumpy, I need to soothe and settle. The other side of my bead is smooth, so I can run my fingers over it as a reminder that I have everything I need and you have everything you need to soothe and settle. The second bead that I chose, um, the bead I chose to represent pausing and noticing is a little flower. Because I was thinking about the words of Jesus, you know, look at the birds, look at the daisies, look at the lilies in the fields. So I chose a flower to remind me to pause and notice. That flower also has texture. Today we choose the third bead. The bead that reminds us to stay with the discomfort. Stay with it until you notice it changes. And that doesn't mean you have to stay in that position. You can follow my example. I know that happened. I'm not going to pretend it didn't. So while I have obviously uncurled, <laughs> I'm still thinking about that. I'm still processing what it means. I also encourage those of you who are viewing home, at home to enjoy and share in communion as a reminder of Jesus. Anytime you taste the fruit of the vine, remember the words of Jesus. Anytime you eat bread or a form of bread, remember, it is the bread of life. And the fruit forms a cup of love. Because that's what Jesus said. He broke the bread, passed it around, lifted the cup and said, this cup is a reminder of our covenant to be a people of love. You are blessed, and you are blessings. Go out there and change the world.